This is Brent Salisbury with the University of Kentucky. Uh, I'll do a quick demo here on OpenStack and what it can do. Um, it's a project a colleague, Cody Baumgartner, and myself have been working on here at the university. So what we're going to do is spin up a couple of nodes here. Uh, so OpenStack is obviously uh, comparable to VMware vCloud, so uh, lots of stuff out there. I'll have another post that's got uh, the how-tos of how to build this because it's pretty extensive and can be a pain. So here we've got the flavors for the instances we want to spin up. Uh, it's driven multi-tenancy, so everything's each tenant is a project. Uh, so those are isolated from one another. Create users here. So uh, this can all be done through the uh, CLI also. And each uh, project's got a quota, so those quotas can be adjusted within uh, within OpenStack here, within the dashboard, and all this is manipulating the, uh, so there's modify quota, uh, all this is doing is manipulating the database on the back end. So here's where we can put in different quotas for different tenants. So projects are listed here that that particular user has permissions for. Create a new project here. Descriptions. And create project. Now the project's created. We'll add a user. Populate the user into it. And here at the bottom, we're going to select a project to associate the user ID to. And then we create user. And we'll log out and log back in as that. Now let's go to instances and volumes. So multi-tenancy all we see is that particular project start off with security so one of the neat features is you can obviously each tenant can provide their own security as opposed to self-provisioning is what drives this let's add a big range of ports here so here's a bunch of ephemerals and we'll add one more here add ICMP allow us to ping we need to create a key pair each project or user has a key pair and that'll download oh, probably already downloaded yeah There's the demo key. So for things like BNCing into the box or SSHing in the box, that's your uh, shared key for that. So let's launch some nodes. Let's do a bunch of nodes here. So we'll do a big HANA cluster and spin that up. Oops. Pick the default small flavor, give it a key, and then nine nodes. And now those are going to start booting up. Let's add another node here. We'll do one for public. Just leave it at one since we're almost at our quota. And we'll wait on these to build here. Pause while some of them catch up. So you see status at all times and then the IP address obviously of the so let's generate a public key. 
our public address. So these are referred to as floating. So we're going to associate it to the public eddy. Okay, paused for a second. Now we've got all of our hosts. I'm going to reboot this one particular node so that it can come back with a um, public address. I believe there is a way to inject it live. You could certainly log into the node and build it. Uh, you may have to do some CLI there. So the networking components of OpenStack is probably the uh, least baked of them all. But in the Folsom fall release, they're uh, going to integrate in Quantum Nova project, which uh, has got a lot of a lot of people in the industry working on it to get uh, APIs, so it's basically an API to start integrating in uh, other V switches. So whether that's uh, you know like a Nexus 1000V or the Open V switch, Open Source V switch, uh, those are going to be there. So as you can see, we've got the address now. So here's just a let's go ahead and ping it, make sure we can reach it, and if I can remember it, and a second longer here to catch up and there it goes so now we've got a public address as well as a private address on that uh, you can just delete them as quickly as you made them so now we're deprovisioning those and here's the API log so it's all JSON readable you can parse through it however you want to. And I'm going to pause for a second and come back. Take a look at, uh, here we go. I rebuilt those real quick just to show the uh, statistics you can gather on these. So here's all our stats, whether for billing or whether for disputing billing. So thanks for watching. And I'll have a post up shortly on how to build all this beast. Thanks.